So this video is going to be fairly small video because it is just a very small thing. But it is very important because when you know this, it can help you a lot. So this is about static assert in C and C++. So it is available in C and C++ both. So you know like what is the use of assert function in your programming, right? Like you want to verify the assumptions that okay, this variable should be like this or it should not be null and stuff like that. So these are like assumptions kept by the programmer to check, okay, I'm going to do some operation. And before that, the state of something should be like this. And if it is not like that, then it can hamper your run. So basic thing is you write assert and here this condition should be true. Whatever the condition is, maybe there is some variable V, you got it from some function and this function should return a non-null value. So you should always put V here and check if it is containing some value. If that is the case, then this is okay. Otherwise going ahead doesn't make any sense because V is null. So things like that you put so that when someone is reading your program, they will get a fair idea like what is this about? But wait a minute, all these things are happening at runtime. But what about the compile time? Like what if you want to have something similar, but at the compile time, meaning you want to have some assumptions that some variable or some macro is available with so and so value or some constant expression is actually evaluated to at least in the range of something, then in that case, this is the topic, which is static assert, we can write static assert. I'll give an example, don't worry. And here you will write a constant expression here, you will have constant expression. And if you have watched my previous video, you can have constant expression evaluation at compile time. I have a video for that if you'll get that video somewhere here. And you can have a factorial calculation at compile time only you don't have to run your program. So if you want to do that, I mean, check that go ahead and watch that video. Maybe I'll give you the link somewhere here. And if I forget, let me know in the comment section. So yeah, now it's the time to see the code. So code is very simple. I have kept it very simple. You don't have to worry about understanding very big thing. So this is your program. This is the constant expression. It is going to evaluate at compile time. And if it fails, then it, this is the message. And this is optional field. You can just omit this. Let me quickly compile this and we'll see that it is saying you that this is failing. It is not going to compile. And let's say if I will make it maybe 10 and now let's try to compile it. It will compile. See, it got compiled. So when you're compiling, you want some flag should be enabled and they should exist. Then you can use this and you get a meaningful message also. So knowing small, small things makes you a good software engineer. And I'm sure everyone wants to be a good software engineer. Or at least you don't want to see shocked when you see static assert. So I included this video in this series. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care. And yeah, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share it with your friends. See you.